everyone, this is Jackie Tomlin, and this is your general reading for all signs. This is for the weekend of February 26, 2021, the last weekend of February, and the, hmm, the weekend that we are not in retrograde. So, definitely good things going on there. So, let's take a look, see what we're looking at for the weekend. Um, also, don't forget to check out your weekly videos, and below them I will be doing adding a link to your, um, we're not going to do an extended reading this week, but we will be doing a full love reading for the month of March on Vimeo. So, those links will come up under your weekly videos. Okay, so right now let's take a look at the current weekend. Okay, we're starting off with the Ace of Wands, the Hermit, and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so Ace of Wands is indicating a new beginning, and that new beginning is in spring. Now, the first day of spring is March 21st, so it's just right around the corner. And we have the Hermit. Now, with the Hermit energy, says that you're going to have to dig into your intuition. There's something here. You may be feeling a little off-centered. Uh, you may have some scattered energy. You might not trust where you're being led. The Hermit says, do trust where you're being led because it absolutely shows that you're on the right path. With the Knight of Pentacles coming into play, and this Knight is telling you this is a new beginning in money. And for some of you, it's a good business deal coming in. We have the Eight of Swords. That's what I call that card of self-imposed restrictions, meaning no one is holding you back at this time but you. And with that, we have the Six of Pentacles. Now, I love the Six of Pentacles, and it is the center of your reading. It shows financial stability. It shows that, everyone, um, that you are able to help others out. You're finally balanced. Something has come in to help you through Seven of Pentacles, working and gaining, raises and increases. This could also be bonuses, um, commission checks, things of that nature. And that comes right under that Knight of Pentacles of that good business deal. Strength. Love seeing the Strength card. It shows you have the strength to overcome no matter what. Okay? Now, I have to be honest. I don't think you're going to need strength for the weekend. But I do see it being a busy weekend. And you're going to have the strength to get through that. Then we have the King of Cups. Now, this is also what I call the King of Love. So, this could be a new offer of love being presented for my singles out there. And otherwise, it could just be an unexpected offer of assistance. I also want to throw out there that a Cancer sign may resonate. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Ten of Pentacles is the highest car, uh, financial card in the entire deck. Okay, this is absolutely representing uh, new money. And like I said, notice that falls right in line with a good business deal, a raise and a promotion, the financial balance, and new money. So, let's clarify these. Right quick, let's run through them. We'll start with that new beginning coming up in the spring. Like I said, right around the corner. Two of Wands, travel plans, coming up in the spring. Travel plans, and I'm going to say for a lot of you, this is travel by water. So, we're looking at, you know, maybe visiting a lake, a river, or an ocean. And with that Hermit card, there is the world. Is that not a beautiful, beautiful combination? So, you're on the right path with the world as being your oyster. Okay, so that means you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. The Knight of Pentacles, the good business deal. Three is a crowd. Be warned of a third person's unwanted advice and or opinions. This does not appear to be coming in the love life. This does appear to be coming in regards to your finances. That Eight of Swords, look at there, brings us that Hermit card again. That card of self-restriction is telling you you've got to trust you got to tap into your intuition and you've got to know that you guys are on the right path. The Six of Pentacles coming in with the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups, an unexpected offer, unexpected offer of assistance, but it could also be, well be an unexpected offer of love, which comes right under that King of Cups. Now, the Seven of Pentacles, the raises and or promotions. 
There's also a reunion with someone from the past. This is someone you are delighted and thrilled to reconnect with. Um, this is something I describe as being really good. Okay. And then we have a strength. Like I said, not that you need it because it's just showing me it's going to be a busy time, but a busy weekend comes with justice. Justice is in your favor. Okay. Now, this could be court decisions. This could be the signing of legal documents, large leases or purchases. I think from what I'm seeing here, and granted, this is a general reading for all of you, but I find this is something that more than likely you already know about. And then we have the King of Cups. The King of Cups comes with the chariot. Okay. The chariot says you get everything you want, everything you desire. It's going to come rushing in. But you know what? It is all good because not only is this just the, um, this is when you least expect it. Okay. And it comes right under the unexpected offer and the world card. And your last card, which was the Ten of Pentacles, coming with the Ace of Cups and a new beginning in love. So a new beginning in spring and a new beginning in love comes now. And a bonus card, Page of Cups, also unexpected offer of love or assistance. I want to throw out a Pisces. May resonate with you guys. Guys, it looks like a wonderful weekend ahead. Don't forget to check out your daily videos as well as your uh, weeklies, and I will see you soon. Bye.